Hello, my name is Dr. Dwight Hooten. I'm a veterinarian in Southern Colorado in Pagosa Springs, and we're here today to share with you how you might go about taking a temperature on the horse. And I guess that one of the things you might want to know uh, is why would you ever want to take a temperature on a horse? Veterinarians do it all the time, and of course it's part of our business. But the reason that you would like to do it is that there are times when getting the temperature uh, at home before you call a veterinarian for a problem may be very informative to that veterinarian. So if it's um, a situation where you have the opportunity and where you will have a thermometer handy and digital thermometers work quite well. Uh, the old style glass thermometers are difficult to come by these days and the digitals are every bit as accurate. The way I like to do it is to always approach a horse from the shoulder area, let them know that I'm here. Now this mare is going to be a little bit easier than many because she likes to raise her tail, but you kind of ease yourself along the side, letting her know all the time where you are. If you've got a horse that happens to like tail scratches, reach underneath the tail, give her just a little bit of a rub and they'll lift their tail up for you. Now horses that are not used to that, oftentimes you have to lift the tail and if you will lift it up two or three times and let them know that you're back here, reach across with one hand and touch the area just above the anus. In doing so, you let them know that you're going to be there and you're going to be doing something. The other thing that's useful about this is that then it gives you a chance to examine this area and find out if it's dirty, if there are any sort of uh, uh, lacerations or discharge that might be of interest to you or to your veterinarian. Before you insert these things, these thermometers, nice to get a little lubrication on them. Makes it go a lot easier. Uh, we'll use sterile lube in this case. I'll give you a little demonstration. There are a lot of us old codgers that do something like this on the thermometer before we insert it, and it works quite well. And I'm not aware of any documented case of a human passing a disease to a horse on a saliva lubricated thermometer. So I think it's quite safe to do that. Also works very well to use sterile lube. Insert gently into the anus and you need to go in uh, three or four inches. And so you're, you're talking about maybe half of the, of the length of the thermometer. Turn the thermometer on. Typically these things will come on and they will tell you OK. The OK means that the thermometer is working well and that you've got battery. Hold it in place and it will take only a few seconds to get a beeping noise. The beeping noise tells you that you've finished the, the uh, taken the, the temperature and then of course read it. And this mare is 99.9 .9, which is perfectly normal. Uh, in most horses 99 to 101 is within the normal range and perfectly acceptable uh, in non-stress conditions.